In this video we're going to take a look at a faulty Technics graphic equaliser. Common problem on Technics products of this age is that the power supply capacitors fail. It's the same on Panasonic products which are obviously the parent company. So if you've got a display that looks like this where it's shimmering, it probably notices that it's shimmering anyway on the camera but in real life you shouldn't be able to see it but it's shimmering across the same effect as you get when you view, view a camera um, and that's a sign that the power supply is basically letting AC through um, so you're going to be looking for a faulty cap in there so just a quick look inside to show the area you need to be looking at which is here for the more focus, there we go so you're basically looking out for these here, your smallest filter cap is usually the one that fails on these so what we'll do is we'll take that out and test it if you've got an ESR reader then you can do that in situ once you've turned the power off if you've an ESR meter you can double check the capacitor if it's failed or not once you've taken it out the board this one allows you actually to test on in situ on the board as well so it's very handy to see if it's failed or not so what we need to do now is we need to be able to access the board there and the easiest way to do it rather than taking the front panel off, off should I say is uh, remove the pack panel and then you should just remove, remove the ribbon cables and then it will unclip from the front panel PCB and should be able to remove it that way so as you can see we're taking the back panel off now it's just a case of removing the screws on the PCB and then just pulling the board away from those clips at the front and obviously disconnecting those ribbon cables so I've took the board out and I've had a quick visual inspection and what I have noticed on the capacitor usually that fails on these on this one it's very hard to see on the camera but on the uh, leg there the base of it is actually leaking or has leaked and on that particular leg it's all gooey and brown just at the top so in theory just swapping that without even testing it should fix the problem so your replacement is just a like for like on this so you're just putting in another 100 UF 35 volts it's a Panasonic one so you know fairly good quality should last a lot longer than what's been in the board so what we'll do now is just unsolder that and put the new one in and then pop it back together and all being well the problem's repaired so I've repaired that now, I've put a replacement capacitor in and just give you an example of what you're looking for on any consumer electronics equipment to be perfectly honest when you suspect there might be a capacitor causing a problem is, let me just get this into focus for you hopefully you can see that on the camera it's more noticeable in real life but the base of it there in between the legs is bold where the bottom of the capacitor has failed and then if I turn it towards you you can see on the leg there it's been leaking so I'm hoping you can see that whereas a um, good quality one, a new one, if I can just get one out of my packet just to see if we can notice a difference one is flat I don't know if you can tell, but one is, one is flat and the other one you can tell has been popped. So obviously that's your new one and that's the original. And you can see the, the base has popped out a little bit as well. And the leg. Hopefully you can see that. But that's an example of what you need to be looking for. And a lot of the time the only way to tell that, unless you've got an ESR meter, is just to pull it out. I mean I never actually bothered to test that because you can tell just by looking at it, it's failed. Uh, in situ but if you've not done this before you're not doing it day to day like I do you probably wouldn't have noticed so anyway let's see the fixed straight away you can see there's no flicker at all it's just stable now the display is on yep it's not flickering on the camera either actually so you can see and it actually looks a little bit brighter as well so hopefully you can, yeah that's picking up now so you can see there's no flicker, there's no scrolling, there's no pulsing effect, all working as it should now. So that's another item saved. What I'll be doing now with this one is putting it back together, giving it a good clean and then pop it on uh, my eBay shop 
to sell it on but hopefully if you you know if you've got one of these from years ago and it's sat in a loft or you pick one up cheap off eBay that's faulty for the sake of a 35p 40p part you've got yourself a 200 pound processor so I hope you found that useful uh, if you don't mind subscribing and liking and watch out for future videos thanks for watching bye for